Well, today was a, a very nice piece of shite. The whole day. Couldn't get the uh, office thing to come up on the computer, and I still can't. So any documentation I have, I can't even see. I don't know what happened to it. My printer was not cooperating today. I luckily found a an old resume, an acting resume, and a headshot so that I could go to auditions today. So I took my music for Sensitivity from Once Upon a Metris that I sung when I was Queen Agrabane a long time ago. And I figured that part's kind of like Eulalie McKechnie Shin, the mayor's wife and music man. And that's what I wanted to go out for. So I thought, well, it's similar. It has the same attitude. So I did that and the girl played it way too fast. I had to tell her, and it sounded like I was telling her to slow it down, you know, like, excuse me, but you don't know what you're doing type of thing. It's what it sounded like, but she was, da 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 It doesn't go that fast. When the queen is singing it, she's wandering back and forth, and she's thinking of how to trick the princess into divulging that she's not a princess. Oh my god! And then, they had this young pup, this young kid, maybe 15, 16, I don't know how old he was, maybe 16, 17, I don't know, is the choreographer. And first we're starting off with two ponies on the right and two ponies on the left, and I'm like, I took ballet and we didn't have anything called a pony. I took ballet and tap years ago. So then he had us do these steps. It's like a step ball change, step ball change, kick, slap your knee, blah blah blah. But he had you stand in a fifth position, which is like this with your feet, and then a reverse fifth position. Only 12 year olds can stand like that. I'm not 12. And then when we were turning to the right we had to have our feet in the wrong way so that would naturally you would want to turn to the left. Where did this kid learn this? Did he even take dance or did he, you know, is he somebody's sweetheart or son or something? What? I don't mean to sound pit. Yes, I do mean to sound pissy. Sorry. And they didn't do any kind of acting things, just the song and the dance attempts. And they filmed it and they just now, it's almost midnight, and just now I got an email saying that I made callbacks, but I'm only considered for one of the four ladies that are girlfriends to the, the barbershop quartet. And they're, they're not Eulalie McKechnie Shin. Should I even go Tuesday to callbacks? I'm not interested in anything else, because they want, they want you to pay $49 to be in it. And I, I asked them, I said, is this a, is this standard? He goes, well, the Civic Center, on some of the things they want you to pay the money, blah, 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 and some of the things you don't. This just sounds kind of funky to me. And it's not really what I want. Do I want to spend my time going all the way down to this place that's a half an hour drive and and it's through the hot summer and I don't have air conditioning in my car and my car is on its last leg. Do I want to do this? I kind of don't. I had such a shitty day. The copy machine wasn't working right and my my computer, the office that has my documents and stuff, I can't even open it. I don't know what's wrong. And the cat car, I don't know if it's leaking gas or if I where I parked was next to a house where a guy was mowing the grass, so maybe his lawnmower was smelled like gas, but... Oh, jeez. I, I don't know. I just... I don't know. Should I go to callbacks or not? I might still possibly, if we do any run lines or anything, unless they already have it precast, which is possible. That's theater for you. If we run lines, then I can I can say the lines very well. But if they already have it precast, then why am I wasting my breath? And if I go, and they want to cast me as some 
little bit part in the background for me to pay $49 for that I will just have to say sorry I can't and one of the people in the group that's making the decision is someone that I've had problems with before we used to be friends and he was buying my old car off of me and never made a payment he made one payment of $50 and never made another one and I had to go get my car back after six months and we had a falling out I'm sorry but hey you know and he called me a spoiled rich girl that I didn't need the money and he needed the car well that's not true I may be spoiled but that doesn't mean that I have money to to burn like that I don't well, maybe it's just not a good thing because it would just bring up a lot of crap I don't know I, I'm too old and too seasoned for BS junior high drama crap. I don't know. What do you think? Well, by the time you see this, it will be my older son's 35th birthday. Brian turns 35 Monday the 7th. He's going to call me because his schedule's bizarre. So I can't wait to talk to him tomorrow. All right. Good night.